Standard deviation is one of the more difficult concepts to wrap our brains around in the SAT. And, and personally, I didn't learn it until I had to start tutoring for the SAT. I don't think I ever learned this in high school. It's possible, but I forgot. Now, good thing is we don't need to calculate the standard deviation for the SAT. You could, but we don't have to. Instead, what we're always going to be asked to do is kind of think about this like comparative standard deviation, right? Now, focus on the word deviation. If something deviates, it kind of wanders off, right? So if you're like walking a path and you deviate from the path, you're going off the path. You're going off that, that trajectory that you were on. The same is true for statistical data. So what is, a, what is the path for a set of data? Well, the path is going to be kind of like the middle, the average, the, the place where all the data seems to be going. So if we look at the, the top graph here, you can see that what this frequency chart is telling us is that most of the values are either 5, 6, or 7. They're very close to that middle 6, right? We can almost kind of like draw this and see that the data is pointing in one clear direction, right? It's pointing towards 6. So this is a graph that has low deviation because everything is kind of sticking to the path, right? There's a few outliers, but the path is still very clear, clearly visible to us. In the second graph, though, look, where is the path headed? I don't even know, right? This is more like a flat kind of rolling hills compared to this tall mountain peak that we see in the top graph. So this has lots of deviation. The data in this set is like all over the place. It's hard to even see what the middle is. So when we're asked what to compare these things, well, we kind of already said it, it's greater for the bottom graph because the data doesn't have a clear middle. Hopefully, you can just remember that, but if you have a little trouble, I would say focus on that word deviate, deviation, okay? To deviate, that's a good SAT word. It means to kind of wander, to move away from a path, to move away from a middle. And so it's a very visual thing when you see it in a data set. Compare them, see which one has much more spread, that's gonna be the higher deviation.